waking you up with the basins number one for hip hop and more. B93. Put on Leo and Rebecca in the morning. Yeah. Going on to celebrity gossip. On the go. Get out. Here's what's trending. Now. Yeah, what's trending about right now? Uh, let me tell you, Taylor Swift and Travis Scott, or Travis Scott, Travis Kelsey back together again. They've uh, reunited? Yes, he landed in Sydney yesterday. Uh, he did land in Australia where she's got a slew of shows this week. She's been performing. And so I guess he was like, hey, I'm coming to see you, baby. Boom. Uh, they're back together. They love their visit. They actually were spotted at an Australian zoo, you know, walking around, meeting koalas having a good old time <laughs> of course you know the australian uh channel nine news is what it is uh has video footage so even in australia paparazzi whoever news is all over it and they say yeah they caught uh taylor and travis hand feeding some of the kangaroos met some koalas during their day out oh that's uh, so cute she's like look let's go out we'll go to the zoo because then i gotta hit up my show tonight so let's have some fun during the day well i mean that's what happens you win the super bowl you go to australia and you see the koalas thank you with taylor swift not a bad life what trending now so beyonce's mom tina Knowles spoke out last week in uh, defense of her daughter's you know, entry into country music. E. Uh, and, of course, Beyonce is on top of the uh, country world right now. She's on top of the charts, right? Uh, you know, she just debuted on the Billboard Hot Country chart at number one. Oh, all right. Yes. Well, Tina Knowles is like, why does anybody have a problem with it? She actually posted a compilation video of Beyonce wearing cowboy gear all through different times in her life. E. And Tina wrote in the caption, we've always celebrated cowboy culture growing up in Texas. We always understood that, you know, it was not just one culture or another. Uh, she says in Texas, there's huge black cowboy culture. When people ask why Beyonce is wearing cowboy hats, she says, I laugh. Because it's been there since she was a kid. She's been wearing cowboy hats. And she proved that, like I said, by posting the, you know, the video uh, photo compilation. She also finished off her post with saying, We went to rodeos every year and my whole family dressed in Western fashion. It definitely was a part of our culture growing up. Uh, so, yeah, she's, uh, you know, defending Beyonce, saying, hey, it's all good. You realize we're from Texas, right? Beyonce's from H-Town. Well, uh, we went to the Houston Rodeo every year. Get over it. She's like, look, there it is. And, well, Beyonce's made some noise with it. Let's be real. Oh, yeah. Watch for those school zones. This is the 432 Morning Show, only on B93. Today, Carmen is dealing with uh, a job that she wants because they have free food there. Um, I'm not mad at her for that. I mean, one. come on, let's be real. That's what, a perk. What? It's a perk. The office is this is. Hello, my name is Carmen, and I'm calling about the administrative assistant position. Great. Yes, you guys are the ones with the free food in the cafeteria, right? Um, yes, we do cater lunch for all of our employees. That's oh, great, one of the perks great, great. Yeah, I've been there a few times. I don't work there, but I've eaten there. Um, I just blend it in, but it was delicious. Um, and okay. All, and all you can You're eat and this. free? I mean, really? I mean, that's the kind of company I want to work for. I'm sorry, did you say that you had eaten in the offices as a guest So, like, before? are you guys hiring or what? Uh, yes, we have an administrative position. Open okay, currently. wonderful, because I have given some assistance to executives before at Big Al's. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm and, sorry, what was that? And I really like your offices because last time I was there, the selfie lighting is fantastic. Okay, well, we're not really that kind of office. Um, what I don't kind know of office? Right what do you, what do you mean, you? what kind of office? We're not the kind of office where people take selfies. Why are the other employees' grills that busted? I don't know if I can work with ugly coworkers. Okay, goodbye. <laughs> Hola, this is Carmen. Yes, I believe we were disconnected. I was in the middle of a job interview. You were definitely not in the middle of a job interview, and we were not disconnected. Excuse me. I disconnected Excuse the call. Ma'am, ma what do you mean we weren't in the middle of a job interview? We would never interview someone so disrespectful at this office. Okay, then which office is hiring for the disrespectful diva with double Ds? <laughs> the office is this is... Do you guys be doing any testing because I need to know if I got to go get on a cleanse or not? You will never, ever, ever work here. Do you understand me? Okay, but I can still come to the free buffet in the cafeteria or... Absolutely not, you... <laughs> <laughs> Good morning. Hi, who's this? 
Cecilia. Cecilia. All right, Cecilia. So Cecilia. We're going to play yes or BS. I, I call BS already. Oh, oh, wait, down. hang on. Leo, she must be talking about you and me. It's too early to be calling BS this early. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's play. Uh, here we go. We'll throw something out and you tell us which one. Yes. All right. Are you ready, Cecilia? Are you there? Yes, I'm here. Okay. All right, here we go. Yes or BS. Honey looks green under a black light. Yes or BS? Um, yes. Yes would be right. Oh, what? Yeah. Green. I got to oh. try this. Grab the honey in your pantry, your cabinet. Put it, you know, put a little uh, black light over it. And see if it looks and green. see if it looks green. Wow. I may yes. not eat it again. That's pretty cool. <laughs> All right, yes or BS. Coffee, the coffee that you drink in the morning and hot chocolate um, have the same amount of caffeine. Yes or BS? BS. Yeah. BS. There's no way, right, it would seem. I would think not. Aye, aye. Actually, that's yes. Oh! They have the same amount of caffeine. So you could have hot chocolate and still get your caffeine. Have the caffeine. same effect. Wow. And here we are running to get our coffee every morning. Who knew? That's crazy. Now that we're not to get my kids. <laughs> yes. Thank you. All right. Here we go. Um, let's see here. Oranges can cure a hangover. The fruit or an orange, it can cure a hangover. Yes or BS? Yes. Actually, that would be BS. Oh. It's bananas. Uh, bana bananas? All I needed to do is eat a banana this whole time or Damn. all through my 20s. And I'm throwing down a bowl of menudo. Thank you. <laughs> wow. They say that, you know, they've got a lot of, you know, whatever in them. Potassium. Right. To help you. And you, it can actually help cure. A small banana can cure a hangover. That's it. I'm trying it next time. All right. A couple more here. Uh, Fruit Loops are different colors, but still have the same taste. Yes or BS? Do you do you eat Fruit Loops, Leo? Yes, I do. Do you, Cecilia? Sometimes. Okay, so what? Pretty Pebbles. What do you say? Yes or BS? Fruit Loops different colors have the same taste. Yes or BS? Um, BS. That's actually yes. Wow. They do have the same taste. Yeah, think about it. You eat a bowl of Fruit Loops, even though the red one would you would think tastes like cherry or strawberry, right. it doesn't. It's just coloring. Yeah, it's totally just the wow. coloring of the Fruit Loops. But that's something we've never really thought about. This is true. How crazy is that? All right, yes or BS. Candy corn, the candy that everyone loves to hate, Ugh. was originally called chicken feed. Before they were going to call it candy corn, they were going to call it chicken feed. Is that yes or BS? Mm, probably yes. Yes would be right. Wow. Yes. Um, I say we feed these candies to the chickens. Uh, yes, because they're <laughs> gross. I don't want them. I don't want them either. You did well today. Yay, Cecilia. Good job. You got yourself some Domino's pizza. Congratulations. <laughs> and what station is it up for you? Be Time for another edition of It Went Viral. It Went Viral. So have you seen the Who the Blank Did I Marry series on TikTok? Risa Tisa. Yeah. Risa Tisa Risa. One of the two. This is crazy. And mind you, here's the thing. I've seen it, but I'm not following it. I yeah. don't know what's I don't know exactly what's going on, but uh yeah, it's, it's, it's piqued my interest. Yeah, well, she's got 50 TikTok videos. Whoa! Like... That's over eight hours long, and people are obsessed with it. Um, it's a story she's telling, yeah, right? Yeah, she has almost 200 million combined views. It's a woman in Atlanta who is named Risa, Tisa, online, and she talks about how she met a guy in 2020, fell in love, yes, married him, then she found out he's a pathological liar! Oh my gosh, please, yes. Dateline, jump on this. Wow, here she is talking about it. Who the f did I marry? I'm going to create this playlist series and I'm going to tell the story of how I met, dated, married, and divorced a real pathological liar. This is my introduction slash disclaimer video. First and foremost, I'm going to be truthful, even if it makes me look bad. I'm going to be honest, but I'm also not going to be disrespectful to anyone that was involved. None of this is funny, but in order to get through it, I have to laugh. If I cry, I cry. I'm human. I'm a woman. This was traumatic. Boom! Well, I'm telling you right now, mind you, she has over 2 million followers, FYI. Wow. Possibly as a result of all of this that's going down. So when I heard about this the other day, I, you know, immediately went to TikTok and I found her and I started watching one of her videos. 
But they are crazy long. <laughs> like, yeah, you've no, no, got to no. be committed to this. Each video is yeah. maybe, I don't know much about TikTok, but maybe about, about a minute and a half, two well, minutes. Well, they said they have the story. total eight hours of video. Oh, my god! So, yeah, and TikTok videos aren't usually that long. No. So she's got a bunch of them. But the thing that is crazy is she's got so many different examples of the lies uh, that pretty much this guy has told her and stuff. So. And and she'll tell you, you know, she's like, honestly, it was a whirlwind romance. I yeah. jumped into things pretty, you know, quickly, whatever. They had a child together, whatever. But, like, I'll show you, Leo. Look at her TikTok videos. I'm showing you right now. And it looks like she films a good five, six, seven videos in one day because she's got the same outfits on. It just keeps so going. So she is committed to this. And each video, this one has 4 million, this one has 3 million, this one has 2 million. Each video will gain upward of a million viewers. Wow. People watching and following her story. Like you said, people are obsessed with her. Well, you know, one p- person put it this way. Uh, she got a shook and we're there for it. Yes. <laughs> Seriously, I'm committed. Maybe this weekend uh, I'll binge Risa Tisa's TikToks. Wow. Well, there's eight hours worth. Good luck. Thank you. Wow. Three hours. Wake up in the morning. That's how you wake up, 432. Leo and Rebecca in the morning. B93. That's 432. Wake up right there. More. Leo and Rebecca in the morning. Is just minutes away. B93. Nope, they weren't having it. Somebody got ghosted hard. Cause I've been waiting, waiting. This is Leo and Rebecca's second chance date on B93. Hey, we got Christian on the line with us. What's going on, Christian? Hey, Mama, how are you guys? Good, great, awesome. Yeah, we're here to help you with a situation. So you went on a date, yeah? Yes. I did. Okay, and tell us about it. What what went down? What happened with Melissa? Well, she's really sweet. I really sincere. I mean, I don't meet many people like that. And just gorgeous eyes. And I don't know. We had this instant connection. It was cool. We went to brunch, and uh, you know, I didn't want the date to end, so I invited her to a movie after. And she was kind of. I guess she was busy, so she promised me a rain check, but. It's been like a week and a half now. Wow. Wow. And you haven't heard from her and it hasn't rained. I mean, what the heck? Come on. (laughs) Stop it. Well, and right out the gate, you've already got all these really cool compliments. She has beautiful eyes, this and that. Great connection. That's awesome. Did anything come up Uh, during the date or or since then that may have given her second thoughts, in your opinion? I, I don't think so. I mean, we talked about usual first date stuff, you know, work, our families, you know, music that we like. You know, I sent her a couple messages after to check in and just never heard back. Wow. Hmm. Okay. Well, what we do is we call her up and we find out what the heck's going on. And so hopefully we'll have luck with that. And we're going to do that next. Okay. So don't go nowhere. All right. All right. Thank you. Three. Nope. They weren't having it. Somebody got ghosted hard. Because I've been waiting, waiting. This is Leo and Rebecca's second chance date on B93. Hello. Hi, is this Melissa? Uh, yeah, who's this? <laughs> this is Leo and Rebecca. Morning show, radio, B93. Yeah. Hello. You have a couple. <laughs> oh. You have a couple okay, minutes hello. to talk. <laughs> She's like, this is too much for me. She's like, no, I don't want to win anything. <laughs> First of all, have you had your coffee already this morning? Because you're going to need it. <laughs> Okay, what's going on here? Well, we usually call people up and we do this thing on our show where we try to find out why people ghosted certain people on recent dates. Yes. So do you know where we're going with this yeah. now? Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, I think so. Yes. It involves Christian. You remember this date or yeah? Yeah, I, I do. Okay. So, so what did you think? How did things go for you on the date? What's yeah. your what was your vibe? I mean, it was a really cool date. He was a really nice guy. We had a good time, but his cologne was just like way too strong. I could not handle it. It was it was like giving me headaches. Oh, hang on. Dang I it. think um, yeah, she and I are one in the same. No. I mean, too much cologne is a thing, Leo. But, you know, the guy was just trying to smell good. 
You know, us guys, here's, here's, the, here's the, when we get ready for dates, we just, we, you know, maybe we do a couple pumps of spray. Maybe he went three or four pumps in. I don't know, you know? It was too much. It was? So what part during the date did you start noticing, oh my gosh, this, I can't it's, even. It's t- overpowering. It's I can't even. I can't do it. Yeah. I mean, it was immediate. He picked me up from my house and I had to be in the car, like locked in the car with him. And I like feel like I was like hot boxed with his cologne in the car. <laughs> like I couldn't breathe. Yep. Yep. It's a thing. And honestly, like, you know, I've, I've dated some guys ages ago where I'm like, wow, did you just bathe in your cologne? Like you didn't no. take a shower. You just showered yourself with so cologne bad. because some some colognes are stronger than others. And Leo, I'm actually very lucky that you don't wear a really strong cologne or right. else I'd be the same way as no. Melissa. Right? I can't do it. OK, so, you know, he's on the line and I got a question for you, Christian, because I want to know what is the brand of cologne that you use? I use the Versace Dylan Blue. Whoa! I, I that's a good oh, smell, too. Yeah, it is. Yeah. I do like Are that you smell. I, would it actually smell bad, or was it just, was it just too much? No, it, it didn't smell bad. It smelled nice, but, like, it, it it was too much. It was too overpowering. Like, one or two spritzes would have been good. Like, it was, I couldn't breathe. Agreed. Wow. I did I- do, like, ten. I don't know. I'm nervous. It's so good. Well, you know, and I I can't be mad at him for wanting to make a great first impression. Yeah. Starting with you smell good because there's nothing more than an attractive guy who smells nice. There's Uh nothing better than that, I can tell you. Okay. And I'm sure Melissa agrees. Okay, so Melissa, you you love the smell. It was just overpowering. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so Um, how about this? Second date... You do one pump, bro, and that's it. Maybe even change it up and grab a different one from your stash. It, it, can we make this happen? I'm yeah, down. I can do that. She's down! Yay! Down? Yes. Sweet. Wow. By the way, Krista, did you notice how she smelled? Great. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, the all right. Okay. So <laughs> se- second, <laughs> second chance date. It's gonna happen, and I bet you the first thing you're gonna do is smell him, aren't you? Yeah, we're gonna have to do a double check on that. <laughs> <laughs> I heard she's like, never mind. I'll take my own ride. Even this one's strong. All oh, right. You two sound fun. I'm excited for y'all. Yes. Okay. So, moderation, my friend. You'll be fine. And uh, thank you guys so much. And good luck on that second date, okay? Thank, thank you, guys. you. Awesome. Bye. All right. So, we love our chicken and we love our pizza, correct? Yes, we do. Two well, of my very favorites. What happens if you put them together? Oh, KFC's doing it. KFC. Yeah, they're rolling out the cheese. Uh, yeah, it's chicken. And, and pizza. pizza the Put them together. And what do you got? A cheese. Not a pizza, a but pizza. a cheese. Yeah, KFC's adding a new menu item next Monday. And it's called the cheese. I'm here for it. You know, we love when they try stuff. And all these different places try different things, right? Yes, they do. And KFC's the one that always does some stuff as well. I think, didn't they do the sandwich that where the bread was actually chicken? I mean, oh, I forgot yeah. about that. It was we never, crazy. We never ventured to go get one of those. Yeah. So they're doing the cheese. It's rolling out on Monday. Uh, it's, of course, the mashup of chicken and pizza. And it's pronounced, it's a cheatsa. So it rhymes with pizza. Right. Yeah. It's not fried chicken on pizza. Okay. Well, that's exactly yeah. what I would think no. it is. It's in, explain. Yeah. There's no, like, it's just, okay, pizza with chicken. We've seen that before. Is no. it a crust? Is it pizza crust? It's or? pizza on fried chicken. So the fried chicken fillets are the crusts. Okay. So basically, you grab the fillet of chicken, the the chicken there, and you make the pizza on top of it. What? Yeah. It's got marinara sauce, mozzarella cheese, pepperoni on top. It sounds like those are some of the toppings that you can get only right now. You know what this reminds me of? What's that? Well, when you go to the Italian places and you get what? The like chicken, chicken parm. parmesan. Chicken parm. Okay. This is what this is. It's that chicken parm with all the stuff on it. Yeah. The marinara. And- no, you know what? Yeah, you just you just laid it out perfectly. Yeah. You're exactly right. So the cheese will be available at most KFC locations starting Monday. They say it's a limited time thing, uh, and it's unclear how limited. It costs about nine bucks, and you can make it a combo meal. And yeah, basically, I would say if you're a fan of that of the parm, then you're probably going to be a fan of this meat. Well, I'm thinking too, I haven't ordered chicken uh, parm in a long time at any restaurant. So, does chicken parm typically have the um, mm, 
What's it called? The mozzarella? Sauce. Right, mar- marinara. Marinara. <laughs> I couldn't think of the word. Yes. Does it typically have it on there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. yeah. Yeah, they'll, they'll give you that with, they'll put it, well, maybe sometimes with spaghetti and they'll put the sauce on. Oh. Well, this is the same thing. This is going to have the sauce, pepperoni on it, the cheese. You basically pick up the chicken and you just go for it, but it's topped with stuff. Well, and I will tell you, I absolutely love the flavor, the spices, even though they're like a mystery of yeah. KFC chicken. And so I think that this is going to be a bonus. Yeah. I think it's going to be great. I think I'm going to love it. Yeah. So get ready for it. Dropping this Monday at KFC.